Central World Heritage Site in 1985, Kazirangu National Park and Tiger Reserve is renowned for having the largest population in the world of the prehistoric-looking one-horned rhinoceros. In fact, two-thirds of all one-horned rhinos in the world can be found inside the national park. Kazir Four main rivers, Brahmaputra, Daiflu, Mora Daiflu, and Mora Danziri, cross the park. The massive Brahmaputra River, bordering the park to the north, is inhabited by blind Ganges River dolphins, which you can see on a river safari. In addition, there are more than 250 seasonal bodies of water that attract migratory birds from distant lands as far away as Siberia. Safari Jeep safaris through the park are the best way to explore Kaziranga. Private vehicles aren't allowed to enter the park, so you'll need to book a tour on an authorized vehicle. Your accommodations can likely help you book a tour before arriving for easier planning, but you can also hire one of the vehicles waiting at the Kaziranga Tourist Complex, located just south of Koro. It handles safari bookings and Jeep rental. Jeep safaris can be booked on the spot, and you pay for the entire vehicle, so it's a good idea to wait around and try to join a group if you're traveling solo or as a couple to reduce the cost. The park has four separate ranges that can be explored and each one has its own headquarters. There's the central range at Koro, the western range at Baigori, the eastern range at Agaranchuli, and the Burhapahar range at Gorakadi. Jeeps travel on a set route, and there are a couple of places where you can stop and get out of the car. The safari route in each range takes about two hours, and many visitors try to see two ranges during a day visit. The most accessible part to visit is the grassy central range, but the western range is about 25 minutes away and has the highest density of rhinos. Ideally, Aim to see both the central and western ranges by Jeep Safari, as they're very different in terms of landscape and foliage. The eastern range is about 40 minutes from Kawara and is best known for its wide array of birds and wetlands, although rhinos and other animals are also present. If you want to get away from the crowds, Borapihar is the least visited range and the only part of the park that includes hiking trails. Boat safaris also operate from the newly launched river tourism zone at Bumariguri and Tezpur, alongside the Brahmaputra River in the park's new area, to promote dolphin tourism. It's located about 30 kilometers from the Burapahar range. The safaris have three different routes, with the longest extending into Burakapuri Wildlife Sanctuary west of Kaziranga. However, the best place for river dolphin sighting is near Kaliabu Mora Bridge in Tezpur where to stay. All budget hotels are in Koro, near the central range. It's convenient to stay there as both the western and eastern ranges are equally accessible from there. For travelers who want to spend a little more, there are some incredible options like luxurious jungle bungalows or a fully equipped resort to focus on relaxing during your stay. Kaziranga Holidays One of the most popular Kaziranga hotels is the sprawling Kaziranga Holidays located on Mirspedam on highway just a couple of kilometers from the park's main entrance. Best of all, it's reasonably priced. Daifu River Lodge This extravagant lodge is located about 15 minutes west of the tourist complex, and has 12 cottages on stilts overlooking the river. It's definitely a luxury stay, but the scenic views and bungalow rooms are worth the cost. Wild Grass Lodge for a reputable budget option that's popular with foreign visitors and backpackers, the Wild Grass Lodge is located in Bos Jaw and Village, a short drive from Koro. Its safari rates are a bit less than other similar hotels. How to get there? The park is situated in the state of Assam in India's northeast region on the banks of the Brahmaputra River. It's about 220 kilometers, 137 miles, from Guwahati. 100 kilometers, 60 miles, from Jorhat, and 75 kilometers, 47 miles, from Furkati. The main entrance to the park is at Koro on National Highway 37, where there are a tourist complex and booking offices. There are airports at Guwahati, which has flights from all over India, and Jorhat, best accessed from Kolkata. Then, it's a 5-hour drive from Guwahati or a 2-hour drive from Jorhat either in private taxi or public bus. Some hotels will provide pickup services, as well.
buses and shared vehicles to Kazirangar are available from Palafin Bazaar, near the railway station, in Guwahati. There's an airport shuttle bus that goes to Palafin Bazaar. Alternatively, multiple buses to Kazirangar depart from the interstate bus terminal in Guwahati before 10 a.m. If you arrive after 10 a.m. and want to take a bus, you'll need to go to the transportation hub in the south of Guwahati at Kanipra. Buses and other shared vehicles heading to Upper Assam are readily available there. Buses from Guwahati to Kaziranga can easily be booked on Redbus.in. If you don't have an Indian card, you'll need to use Amazon Pay because foreign cards aren't accepted. The nearest railway stations are at Jakala Banda, one hour away. Trains run there from Guwahati. Take the Guwahati Silgat Town Passenger and Furkati for trains from Delhi and Kolkata. Tips for your visit. Kaziranga National Park is open daily from November to April every year, although the exact dates vary based on accessibility after the monsoon season. The peak time for visiting is December and January, when the weather is most comfortable. The park gets extremely busy during the peak season and it's likely to negatively affect your experience there due to the large crowds. February to early March is the best time to visit to balance out the crowds with the weather. Crowds drop off in March but the weather becomes sweltering as summer begins. A week-long Kaziranga Elephant Festival, held to encourage people to save and protect elephants, takes place at the park from February 11 to 17 every year. Be prepared to pay several different fees to explore Kaziranga. Apart from the park entrance fee, you'll also need to pay for a vehicle entry permit, a jeep hire, camera fees, and also for an armed guard to accompany your tour, which is required of all jeep safaris. Kaziranga National Park Information This complete guide is about Kaziranga National Park Information. Kaziranga National Park famous for serving as the safe home to two-thirds of the great one-horned rhinoceroses found in the world. There are around 2,415 great one-horned rhinoceroses found in Kaziranga National Park. Known for its high species biodiversity, Kaziranga National Park was established as a reserve forest in the year 1905. In 2005 it celebrated its centennial with much fanfare and enthusiasm. The commendable steps taken by the government towards wildlife conservation in Kaziranga have been applauded across the world. The easy visibility in animals, birds and a rich biodiverse wildlife population has led to its popularity among wildlife enthusiasts since decades. Kaziranga National Park famous for its safaris is very well maintained. One of the first one-horned rhinoceros we saw in Kaziranga National Park. The great one-horned rhinoceros is found in abundance in Kaziranga National Park. Spread across 860 square kilometers, this World Heritage Site is quite popular amongst wildlife enthusiasts, birdwatchers and tourists. Nestled in the lap of the stunning Brahmaputra River, Kaziranga National Park is also home to tigers. In fact the highest density of tigers is found here. Kaziranga tourism is booming in how. It is fairly easy to spot the great one-horned rhinoceros through the widespread wild grassland. Greater one-horned rhinoceros in Kaziranga National Park, Assam. Greater one-horned rhinoceros in Kaziranga National Park, Assam. Kaziranga tourism, my experience. I went on an early morning safari with Holiday Scout, the pioneers in arranging tours anywhere in northeast India. We left for the Kaziranga National Park from our hotel at dawn after a quick breakfast. It is advised to do breakfast as there is no facility inside the Kaziranga National Park for dining. You are allowed to carry water bottles. Landscape at the entrance of Bagori Zone of Kaziranga National Park. Soul Window Tip There was a queue of jeep at the entry gate before us when we arrived. So it is a good idea to start very early so that you are amongst the first in the queue. Though, we were quite behind the queue and still managed to have a very rewarding safari. Kaziranga Wildlife Sanctuary never disappoints.
The one-horned rhino in a water body gave us the best sighting. Spotting one-horned rhinoceros. We saw a one-horned rhinoceros within two minutes of entering the Kaziram National Park. Nearby, birds of different kinds were swimming in a small water body on either sides of the dirt track. We proceeded to see many one-horned rhinoceros in far distance, across the river. They were grazing languorously along with some swamp deers. We didn't really stop for a closer look as they were pretty far away. Me enjoying the safari. I love wildlife and it shows. What stopped us in our tracks was a massive rhinoceros grazing nonchalantly in the tall grasses. We waited patiently for a long time for the rhinoceros to give us a full view of his face. But he continued to bury his head in the fresh green grass, chomping away without a care in the world. We left, frustrated. Another gentle giant we saw. While returning from the wildlife safari after a few hours, we saw the same rhinoceros again, at the same spot, chomping on the same grass and with the same attitude. He didn't give us a clear view of the face as we waited again since it was the closest rhino we saw on this wildlife safari. The old guy who refused to show us his face. Turned out he was one of the oldest one-horned rhinoceros of Kaziram National Park. I stared at him with admiration, wondering how he escaped poaching and devastating floods all these years. He was surely a survivor. The same old rhino finally gave us a glimpse of his face. One of the most picturesque rhinoceros sightings we were blessed with was in the middle of a water body. We must have skipped a hard beat or two when we saw a solo rhinoceros navigating a water body. What made it exciting was the dramatic setting proximity from our safari jeep and the slow pace of the wonderful giant. It was surely the best one-horned rhinoceros sidebar headed goose, the photogenic black-necked stork, white-breasted water hen, Indian roller, woodpecker, adjutant stork and many more. We also had a very good sighting of barking deers many times. A mitten at Kaziranga. Mukin, we even made a quick stop at the mitten. It also offered us a break from all the riding on dirt tracks. We climbed up the Mukin and were rewarded with stunning views of Kaziram National Park, bathed in the early morning glow borrowed from the sun. We didn't see any wildlife from the Mukin, but we are not complaining. We saw great views from the Safari Jeep. Hope you get to see many Kaziram National Park animals. Abinav, me, another Abinab from Assam and Jitta as it is their feeding time. The government has made it mandatory to hire an authorized guide from the forest department for the Jeep Safari. Limited numbers of vehicles can enter the Kaziram National Park on a day, so it is advisable to make a prior reservation. Tour operators such as Holiday Scout can help you make an advance booking of Jeep Safari. Plan that trip now to Kaziram Go Wildlife Sanctuary and enjoy spotting many Kaziram National Park animals. Hog Deer in Kaziram how to book a jeep safari at Kaziranga National Park I recommend booking a jeep safari at Kaziranga National Park with Holiday Scout. They are leading tour operators in Northeast India and can provide a customized trip anywhere in Northeast India. Rest assured of the high quality of service and trips if you book with Holiday Scout which is run by the very bright Sanjzum. Kaziranga tourism deserves dedicated people like Sanj. Asian Open Build Juvenile Linapon. Kaziram National Park Information Zones. Kaziram National Park is very different from most national parks in India. Jeep Safari is available in all three zones of Kaziram National Park, which are Myhimuk in Central Zone, Begori in Western Range, and Agirodali in Eastern Range.